I'm gonna show you a video of Mbuisen in Lonzi attacking Jacob Zuma. I'm gonna insert that video shortly. But I want you to bear with me because I'm seeking clarity and a bit of understanding. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm seeking clarity and a bit of understanding because I honestly don't understand. Uh, but it's politics at the end of the day. Anything is possible. Jacob Zuma has often been accused of... Uh, Jacob Zuma has often been accused of... Uh, a man who is old and uh, because he's old, his time has come to pass. Because his time has come to pass, he's bid, busy fun, look, funding people to do things. And you know what I'm saying. And I always say, hey, I, this same Mbuisen Lonzi, not long ago, he was attacked in public. We protected him against his so-called uh, boss because the EFF is, in, you know, my lemma in the EFF, you know, it is his thing. But I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, guys, I, I'm sitting and I'm thinking to myself, what is Mbuisen Indlons saying? Maybe it makes sense to you. To me, it doesn't. Considering the fact that the MK party, how it is formed and what, it's, what it stands for, for me, it appears like we've got a political party that comes into the game and it is doing something. Therefore, discrediting Jacob Zuma doesn't really make sense. Like, it doesn't really make sense. Look at the leaders who are with the MK party. Look, today there was a local press briefing at MK party. There's a constitution. They are establishing offices all over the country. Like, okay, we can see that okay, MK party is moving towards a certain direction. But what I find it interesting the most is the fact that uh, this same MK party is being led by the person that is being discredited by Umbu Isenin Lonze. So I'm saying to myself, oh. You know, I'm trying to put one plus one together and I'm like, Umbu Isenin. Clearly the man has got a lot to offer. He has broken records. Like, come to think of it. He formed a political party. In a space of six months, that political party became an official opposition party. And it dethroned you guys. You are below that political party. So you can't be, be, belittle such a human being then because clearly he's got more to offer as Danny has demonstrated it. So what are you basically saying? You know, maybe I should ask you too. What are you saying when you're not doing this? If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also, guys, want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so let's proceed a bit again uh, i'm gonna now give you the video um, the video just give me just a moment i'm gonna come back to that one just a moment but i am perplexed and I'm really, really perplexed. Maybe I should. What I can. What I should do 
Let's just go straight into the video. Take a look at what Mbuisen in Jose said here. Let us not be misled. President Zuma had his chance. Nine years as a president. Ten years as president of the ANC. Did he take the land? No. no. Did investors come? No. no. Did unemployment go down? No. no. Today, he going to convince me. Seven eighty-three. In the Angola, in a sixty. Uzo ekwame na eighty-three. No. I had. Is Katso Pulu, is Katso Pumo Lamana 83? Amakesha Alala four times a day, four times, as they choose, as they should. He's not going to solve the problems of South Africa now. When he couldn't solve them with all the power for 10 years. Okay, now let's proceed again. So, for me, I think Jacob Zuma has got something to offer and has proven time and again. And uh, I'm just wondering, that's for me, I'm wondering if MK Party had money. If MK Party really had money, there was going to be a lot of damage in the previous elections. A lot of political parties would have been kicked out completely, would have been obliterated completely. But that, that put this political party used the power of influence to create the, 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 the political party that we have today, which is MK Party, and they, it doesn't look like it is stopping anytime soon. It looks like they are going from one strength to another, and they are becoming a force to reckon with. And uh, look, their opposition have acknowledged the fact that these people have arrived, and I am looking at the fact that, okay, they have arrived. What are they doing from now? I'm seeing a political party that is doing anything and everything within their power to stay relevant and creating more appetite and bringing leaders. And that alone tells me that, oh, the leader of the MK party knows exactly what is happening. So can I therefore listen to a person who's discrediting the leader and saying things such as he's got nothing to offer? No, like honestly, guys, no, no, no. MK Party is officially number three, biggest political party. Number four is EFF. MK Party is not even a year old. They will make. They will be doing one year in 16 December, but they have already bigger than the EFF, which is 10 years older. And you still wanna con look, convince me that the man has got nothing to offer, blah, blah, blah. Hey, man, and men, and men. I mean, I'm, lo I'm following stats. That tells me that, you know what? The man has got everything to offer. At least, at least that's, what it's, that, that's what I'm seeing from stats. I'm seeing that the man is able to sponsor sleepless dice to other people. And the man is able to gen generate revenue for doctors because people are out there, uh, they, are they are full of stress, you know, others, they are going there for sleeping pills because the man is there. The man is just doing, it's moving from one pillar to post, making sure, uh, like, you know, I'm swinging things from this one direction to another, making sure that he sponsor other people's tears. You know, others today, you know, they are around 40% because of the man. You know what I'm saying? Mbalula was acknowledging that. So you still want to convince me? Hey, hey Jacob Zuma, this is... Hey, 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 hey. I'm not going to be convinced because stats says otherwise. Stats speaks for itself. It doesn't suggest what you are telling me. It suggests something completely different. Get into the comment section below. Tell me what you think about it. Everything. I'll see you on the next episode.